flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Of the United States. Stories making headlines today, and today is Thursday, October 20th, 2011. I'm Aaliyah, and with me today is Michelle. On today's show, we'll take a look at what Oak Crest sports are on the field today, as well as what you need to know about what's happening this month at Oak Crest and around the country. We've got those stories just ahead, including a look at what websites you'll want to check out to download your music and what, how you can get rewarded for doing it. That's just ahead in National News with Chris. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel and Twitter to get caught up on the missed episodes. For those Oak Crest stories and others, visit the Falcon TV web channel right here on YouTube, where you can watch past episodes and everything Oak Crest. Our channel is updated daily and features other videos not seen on our show. If there's story or announcements you want featured on our show, don't forget that you can send us an email or find us on Twitter. Our email is at talentproductions.com and it's at the bottom of the screen. All right, let's head over to Chris, who has stories making headline national news. Music listeners have been tuning into the getting their favorite songs onto their personal listening devices. The days of the CD players have come and gone, but they have replaced the iPods, online sharing music and streaming. Online music sharing has grown from many years with the social networking sites like MySpace using their websites to promote the new music and sharing it with others. Recently, new sites have been promoted and became popular with younger people by visiting these sites. Users are getting rewarded by receiving free song downloads just for promoting the music and then listening to them for their own ways to get it on the music trend. Check out these and check out these YouTube websites. With traditional digital music purchases, you buy a song and it's downloaded to your device. And you can only listen to what you've purchased. But with streaming music, you're not limited to a download. You can listen to songs on demand using your internet connection. You pay monthly, but can listen to millions of songs. And what's more, there are some free options available. You don't have to prepare. It's right there on the spot, and it's a humongous, humongous library of music. A handful of these services are quickly growing in popularity, each with their own distinct features, says MSNBC.com tech writer Rosa Golian, like Spotify. You can create a playlist, and you can share it with your friends, and they can add songs, delete songs, and one of the best things about it is that everything syncs instantly. Have tons of Facebook friends? Mog may be right for you. You get credit for promoting the service. The more you promote, the more you fill up credits in what's called your gas tank keeping your listening free. You're working for your music by promoting the service on Facebook, by creating playlists, by actually using it, you're earning more, you're refilling your gas tank. Interested in discovering and sharing music through friends? Check out RDO. And really, um, really just see your friends' playlists. Who do you normally discover music from? Back in the day of mixed tapes and mixed CDs, you got your music from your friends. So it's We'll jump back to that. If you'd rather have a DJ for your music discovery, there's Rhapsody. There are radio stations that play artists based on moods or specific like rock, pop. They are some of the best hand-picked songs you can find out there. So that's Rhapsody's big strength. But there is a word of caution if you're streaming to your smartphone. Keep an eye on your data usage. You definitely want to be on a Wi-Fi because that can eat up your data really fast. We told you yesterday that Oakcrest will be honoring its alumni with special tribute events. The first on the schedule is the premiere of the motion picture Mighty Max, the story of Oakcrest graduate Kathy Rush and her rise of the fame in women's college basketball. The film, which comes out October 21st nationwide, showcases the career of the first college championship women's basketball team. If you can't be an Oakcrest graduate, there's another film coming up that features about 50 of them. It features a length documentary produced by Oakcrest Media called Oakcrest High School, A History of Excellence will be premiered on Monday, October 24th at 6.30 p.m. There will be a Chinese auction and a chance to meet directors of the film, so you make sure you have a chance to see a piece of Oak Crest history next Monday. Also, for more Oak Crest graduates making headlines, the annual Wall of Fame induction ceremony will be held on October 28th during the halftime of the football game. This year's class of inductees include graduates from the past 40 years who have showed Falcon pride at Oak Crest and in their careers after high school. That's an event everyone is definitely looking forward to. Over the past few days, we've been telling you so how much is just happening at Oak Crest the next few weeks. And now, in addition to the Dr. M Street premiere, the annual Wall of Fame inductions, and the premiere of the Mighty Max in theaters this Friday. And just 
A weeks later, the annual play is right around the corner. Ilka Sharma has been working hard over the past month to rehearse and put together this year's show, The Wizard of Oz. If you want to go and see Dorothy drop a house on the witch or the scarecrow get his brain, you'll have to wait till November. But when that time does come, all you have to do is follow the yellow brick. A stage for the wall for the wall of fame for the wall of fame inductions is a great opportunity to something and help someone. October 25th, Oakhurst High School and the National Junior Honor Society will hold their annual blood drive and they need you to help support the blood drive supply shortage. It's easy to get involved and donate, and if you want to donate, there's only one thing you need to do. Sign up. If you're at least 16, all you have to do is fill out a sheet with a member of the NHS or see Mr. Lockwood to get donation time. This month of October... Hold on, I said video. I am strong. I am dedicated. I am fierce. I am daring. I am virgin. I am fresh. I am different. I am equal. I am compelled. The month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and right now everyone around the country is wearing pink to show the support for all the women battling breast cancer the under the United States. You can do your part at Oakhurst by wearing pink this Friday because it's National Pink Day, and Oakhurst will be taking pictures throughout the day of everyone wearing pink. Did you know that every two minutes there is a new breast cancer diagnosis, and every 14 minutes a life is lost to the disease? Because of breast cancer, over 40,000 people died and will die this year. About 400 of them will be men. That's right, one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Breast cancer is the leading cause of death in women between ages 40 and 55, and in the second leading cause of cancer-related death in women. Each year, a small number of men are also diagnosed with breast cancer and could die from it. In Oakhurst Sports today, boys and girls cross country will have it meet away, and the freshman football team will face Ocean City here at home, and the last up, the girls varsity tennis team will play Hamilton in a away match. Good luck to all those teams. All of those teams will play at 4 p.m. It may only be October, but for all baseball players, there will be a meeting on Thursday, October 20th in Coach Service Room, which is 306, and that meeting will be right after school, where they will be discussing the selling of Thanksgiving Day Pie sponsored by the Baseball Booster Club. Also, favorite teams, make sure you stop down to the media studio and pick up a Falcon Pie wristband and take advantage of the big 243 sale. Now when you buy two wristbands, you'll save a dollar, get two wristbands for $3 today but only while supplies last. In clubs and meetings, the Sign Language Club has just started for 2011 school year and is looking for new members to join. ASL is held after school and offers students to, a chance to communicate with deaf by learning sign language. Meetings are held in room 119 during the activity period, and if you're staying after school today for ASL or any other club, there will only be 5.30 p.m. buses. In upcoming events this year, homecoming will be held on November 19th at 7 p.m and the price of the ticket is $15. Tickets go on sale during lunches November 14th and will be available for purchase until the 17th and all the mon money raised will go to the ASPCA. The theme this year is the event is Midnight Garden, so be sure to see Ms. Delaranga or Ms. Kennedy for permission slips and details. Also coming up, right before this year's homecoming, is the annual Student Council and Drama Haunted Walk. The drama students and student council are working hard to put together a great event, and this year the event will be held on a Saturday so everyone can attend. So if you aren't busy on October 29th, make sure you come out and support the drama and students council this year with the Haunted Walk. For other performing arts news, the band has been making headlines over the past few weeks, improving their finishes at state competitions. Recently, band teacher and marching ambassador, Dr. Director Mr. Swartz, answered a few questions about this year, what audience members can expect in the stands this year. Uh, the theme this year is a tribute to Broadway, and I think the show will do great. I think it's a fan favorite. People love the music and enjoy what we do. 
I, I think the guard is going to work hard, and I think they're going to put on a great show, just like all the band kids. My expectations are for the kids to put on a great show and to do the best that they can. So far, everybody's been really friendly. The kids have been great. Uh, it's been making the transition really easy for me. Um, I have no plans for next year right now. Uh, I'm still in this year's season, so I'm not even thinking about next year. Uh, as for concert band, I'm going to do a lot more... Um, symphonic type music, more concert band material. Uh, just to try to expose everybody to different kinds of music. Meeting info. You can log on to Twitter or follow OHS Falcon TV, or you can visit our Falcon TV website for the latest updates on everything Oakcrest, including the new section on our homepage that will let you know everything happening each day this week at Oakcrest. Our site is at the bottom of the screen. You can also get through us through the Oakcrest webpage. That was your news for Thursday, and thanks for watching today. For Chris, Michelle, and everyone else here at the Falcon TV studio, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. I'm Malia, and this is your Falcon TV News. Have a great day.